This is my Emotion V12. I was just talking yesterday about the V12 and in my hands and uh, the V12 and the cutouts that have been occurring. Now, my information that I had gotten that this was solely a batch two problem, batch two V12s. I had someone uh, comment on my video saying that no, there's been problems with batch one as well. So I went back and I reviewed the video from In Motion, and I'll. I'll I'll include that in this, in this video as well. And I think there's confusion about what the behavior should be when you are doing this test. Um, so I'm going to, all right, I'm going to lift my wheel up. I'm going to turn it on. Now I'm going to be trying to do this one hand. This, this could be interesting, but I want to try to record what happens when you do a no load lift test. Okay, so I'm going to lift it up and let it tilt forward. Red, and look, oh my screen, my screen turned off. Shit, I guess I failed the test. Because my screen turned off, my wheel's no good. No. I can turn it right back on. That, that is the way that these wheels work when it hits top speed. So you have to keep that in mind. If you hold it for more than a couple seconds, Oh, it turned off. Must be bad. No, it, it does not mean your wheel is bad. That just means that it hit the max speed. So you need to do this quickly. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna do this on my wheel. And um, I'm a little, a little hesitant because in general in life I am a if it's not broke, don't fix it kind of guy. My wheel's not broke, it's working fine. And I'm on a flat territory. I don't ever find myself typically having to break going down a hill or anything. But although I did, I did take this to the hills and mark on this one. But okay, so I am already in off-road mode. That's one of the things that they recommend that you do. You put it in off-road mode to do this test. And I, I prefer off-road mode because it makes the pedals a little stiffer, a little harder. So I'm in off-road mode. I'm at 90% battery. Okay. We're going to simulate this test where basically you just tip it forward and then you, you bring it back to center so it simulates an uh, emergency or hard break. And let's see what happens. But again, making sure that you are doing this quickly. You don't want it to spin right up to max speed. Okay, here we go. <laughs> turned off because I tipped it too far back, I think, and it went into, um, see it turns back on, it's fine. It turned off because I, I let it spin too far going backwards, I believe. I'm trying to do this without hitting the switches, you know, you can disable this kill switch, um, but I'm trying to do it without doing that. Okay, one more time, guys. This does not mean your wheel is bad. 